All right, we are rolling. Welcome along, everyone, to episode thirty. Welcome along 30... to. <laughs> what the? What is this? Go lay. I found it. And cut. Where did you get that then? <laughs> Never you mind. Pretty cool, eh? That is awesome. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't think that's how they do it in Hollywood. They would be like eight <laughs> claps, but... And action. Action. That is brilliant. I know. Oh, right. Pretty cool, though. No, gave but me, it is pretty cool. Give me a bit of a shot, though. I Did was it? trying to do my welcome. Welcome along to I the know. Venture Nutrition Q&A. I like to suddenly, cut it off. Suddenly, Steven Spielberg's in the house <laughs> here just clapping away. Because you try and be all smooth, so I like to just mess up your intro. Oh, it's good, this. Is it? It's nice. You should have gotten chalk and written on here. Oh, here we go. And written on here. You know, production company, Ventura no, Nutrition. I was, I was trying to be funny. Is so, it? like, people aren't going to read it. Were you I trying was to just, wind me up? I was just trying to snip it in front of it's your awesome. face. I love it. But We're actually, actually going to discuss a movie later on this, on this episode anyway, so I cool. think that's perfect. Do you? That is awesome. Nice little purchase Oh, damn. There. I, I actually thought that you were going to, like, be mad at me for cutting oh, you off. Quite impressed, actually. Oh. So, we've got, we we're filming today and I put my pyjamas on. There we go. <laughs> Here we go. Look at these sexy pajamas. If you'd if you'd like a look behind the curtain in Ventura Nutrition. I mean, that's pretty rough. Oh, trackies. he's got his trackies so, on too. Got me trackies on. So we look all prim and proper from here from up. up here. And yeah. then and then below. Underneath, got me pyjamas. Got her PJs on. So, so mm. <laughs> pretty cool. Lovely. Like. And she calls me a little old man. I know. And I was just adjusting and tucking my t-shirt in because it's a bit nippy tonight. Mm. Tis. Tis, my love. <laughs> But uh, nonetheless, welcome along to episode 34 of Intro Nutrition Q&A. We have uh, movie clapboards. We've yep. got p- pajamas notifications. on. Notifications. Got notifications going on whilst I'm here. <laughs> on silent, though. Um, I've got track pants on. Kylie's got PJs on. Why do you have to just go over everything that we just, like, said? I don't know. Just summarizing. Because there's a lot of chaos on the show. We're probably not even 30 seconds in. And yeah. already, already people's watching this going, right, where am I? But they've also seen everything that happened, so they don't need you to give them a rundown. They haven't seen my track pants or your pajamas. Yes, they have, because we just showed them, and then you're saying... Oh, you mean on this episode? Yes. You know, I was going to say, it's been 34 episodes, and no one's ever seen your pajamas. Suddenly they're seeing it, so... Oh, was it? Yeah, I was just... No, because I haven't... No, because... We showed our slippers once. Yeah, but usually I do actually have clothes on. But then you didn't tell me we were filming tonight, and I forgot. Right. And I was like, oh, I'm already halfway in my pajamas, so I just took... So you said, let's just jump on YouTube in my pajamas. Yeah, but nobody sees my pajamas. Mm. Well, if you like Carly's pajamas, this is a good opportunity to like this video. Yeah. Subscribe to our channel if you want to see more pajamas. <laughs> and Nobody wants them. to see more. Like, these are real, um, what are they, like, flannelettes. Yeah, but what I'm saying, you might attract what a new crowd. On them? You might They're get like... a new crowd. There are people out there who are into those types of things, aren't they? Yeah, they... They have Look... pajama parties and stuff. Isn't it? It's got Cuddle like... Cuddle parties. I'm trying to see what is that called? Like pot plants on it. You know, it would be a good person to ask about this is my dad. My dad wears pajamas similar to these. <laughs> so, yes. Yep, proud. What if you, you know? have any questions about Kylie's pajamas at Ventura <laughs> Nutrition on social media. Bed, bath and beyond. That's where they're from. Free plug. <laughs> Info at VenturaNutrition.co.nz is our email. Or you can contact us through the contact form on our website, www.VenturaNutrition.co.nz. Yep. Send any questions into any of those channels. Jeez, you're really rattling that off now, eh? I'm getting good. 34 weeks now. 34 weeks. 34 weeks now. I'm like that um, like that Harvey Norman guy. I know. I feel sorry for people who listen weekly. Like, you know, Biz and Chelsea, they watch this. And I know. He must be like, oh, here they go. Biz, uh, my bro, if you're watching, I'm sorry that I have to say this at the start of every episode. But we always say it just because we, then we get the opposite. We get people going, what's this show about? Oh, how how yeah. do I send questions in? Yeah. What's it all about? You know, so... Sometimes people are shooting. Is that how they say it? What's that all <laughs> What's then all of <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly how they say Do it. Do they? Yeah. I think you hear people differently in your head. Well, that's just how people. What's then all no, of that? No, that's my, that's my people. Like people. No, that's my people having a moan voice. Oh. That's my so pe- do it again? Right. So if someone's having a moan about, so it's like, give me something to moan about. The kids being naughty. Right. So, they, so they'd go, okay, the neighbors, right? Kids on the tramp. They're yelling. Blah, blah, blah. Neighbor comes up to the fence. What's all that yelling going on there? Is that how they say it? Yeah, oh, what's all that about? You Why know? do they sound constantly? <laughs> <laughs> That's how moaning people sound. <laughs> Nobody comes up to a fence and goes, Yeah, good eye, <laughs> What's all that moaning about? <laughs> no one's happy when they're moaning. I am. Oh, whatever. <laughs> you are not. I'm like, no, nah, I'm like, 
not like what is that voice? Moany voice. I'm not that. I'm like dick knob. <laughs> Dick knob. <laughs> dick knob. Brilliant. That's why you don't need a moany voice because you I'm walk like, into rooms and say dick knob. I'm like, dickhead, did you leave that on the floor again? Mm. Kylie calls me that in front of company, <laughs> in front of neighbors, in front of people visiting anyone, in front of suppliers, yeah. in front of suppliers. She goes, oh, dickhead, uh, where's that invoice? I don't say it like this. Yes, don't you? How do you say it then? Go on. I say, dickhead, you packed the wrong flavour. You sent him chocolate and he ordered vanilla. Dickhead, you sent him the wrong flavour. He ordered chocolate and he sent him vanilla. <laughs> All right, let's talk like you. Welcome to Venture and Nutrition. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> Send us what a was PM. that one you did two weeks ago? It was about my, my shorts. How do I say shorts? Shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, honestly, hey. He's like, you sent me outside in my shorts. I think I say shorts perfectly fine. Shorts. Shorts. Yeah. Got me t-shirt on and some shorts. Shorts. Nothing. Comes like a shh. Nothing shorts. gets taken seriously in this house. Nothing gets taken seriously. So, yeah. once again, welcome along to, to the, the Q&A. And we might pop into some questions. All right. Time for some seriousness. Time to get, get to work. My, Time get to get my to work. thinking cap on. All right. What are we starting with here today? Episode 34. We've got Rebecca S. This is from YouTube. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. Thank you for your question. Um, she says, can you guys please recommend a good greens powder? And what should I be looking for in a good one? We can recommend a good greens powder. You can powder. actually show them. Can I? Should I go grab our one? Yeah. Well, we I use brought... a really good one called Super Greens. Yeah, I brought one back. I haven't even opened it yet. A brand new? Yeah. I shall just go grab the greens for you, Rebecca. I'll be it's right back. It's in his office. Got the greens. Oh, did I bring that flavor home? Raw. Yeah. The raw flavor. This stuff here is the bomb. It's got so much in it, like 50 organic superfoods. Mm -hmm. It's got your organic um, superfruits, antioxidants, fiber blend, probiotics, prebiotics, vegetables, aloe vera. And, and almost most importantly, organically made. No yeah, artificial sweeteners, no colors, no flavors. Yeah. It's USDA organic certified. No added sugar. It's got six grams of fiber mm -hmm. per serving and it's vegan. Mm -hmm. Now what you want to look out for, um, if you're asking what to look out for in a good one, is number one, obviously, you want to cover all your bases. You want the fruit, the veg, the superfoods. You want the antioxidants, as um, Kylie mentioned. Mm. You want the probiotics, the prebiotics. But you also want to make sure it's certified. Yeah. Because number one, yeah, they could say they're organic, but if they're not certified, who knows? Mm. Uh, number two, if the label isn't certified, if it isn't G GMP or NSF or USDA certified, then that means that what's written on the package isn't necessarily in inside, the label. Or yeah. excuse me, inside, inside the bottle. The package. Yeah. So you what you don't want is a greens powder that perhaps, just to give an example, A doesn't contain all the superfoods that it advertises, mm. or even worse, B can sometimes con contain pesticides, lead, heavy metals. Or GMOs. Exactly. So you'd want to make sure it's got all of the good ingredients in there that we've just covered, mm. but you also want to make sure that it's something that is 100% certified so that it's guaranteed not to cause any long-term harm mm. just because a company wanted to cut corners and make some extra money. Yeah, but also a lot a lot of the times like people say to me, what does like the certification mean? But sometimes like it's not as if the non-certified people are lying because mm. a lot of people say, what well, is that legal? But mm. they do put those ingredients in it, but they also top it up with fillers. And mm -hmm. so, so just imagine like, say you buy a greens like this, it's probably like half full of actual good ingredients, but then it's what they top it up with. Yes. And usually, um, you know, people have asked me in the past, like, why would a supplement have metals or leads mm. and what's interesting is they actually use that as a mechanism to make the product way more yes so they can get away with using like carly saying maybe only that much powder maybe only if it's in a 300 gram jar but they can only fill it with 100 grams of powder mm. but if they if they put lead in there and and believe it or not heavy metals and leads are legal to use in food manufacturing yeah, which i think it just blows my mind this then makes the powder way more mm. so they can use less powder and they can still sell it to you and say 300 grams of powder. So this isn't just for greens. This goes for all supplements. But yeah. this is why on our website, we only stock 100% certified products. Yeah. And if anything is organic on our website, it's USDA certified organic mm. as well. And so. that also kind of 
goes in with the same thing like a lot of people well, not a lot of people but some people saying why is it like so expensive um because you know you can get a really cheap one from mm. like mainstream outlets you know mm -hmm. like um you can get like quite cheap greens powder mm. but like rog said like it's not certified a lot of the time mm -hmm. um if you can find a certified one awesome but yeah, that's a that's a huge thing here yeah. in New Zealand. Yeah, There's... big thing here 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 in New Zealand, the supplement industry works on a good faith understanding, yes. which to me is not good enough. No, it's, it's not, not good enough. They they it actually goes for the food and uh, and supermarket industry as well. Mm. When something's advertising in a supermarket to have six times the vitamin C of an orange, often at times you'll find two times the vitamin C of an orange, if not zero. Mm. So everything here on a good faith is not good enough for me. I like to um, make sure everything we stock is 100% certified and it, mm. it is le legit. So hopefully that answers that for you. Thanks, Rebecca. Thanks for that question. Thank you. That's awesome. We shall just put the greens over here. Mm -hmm. um, all right. What do we got next up? We've got... Uh, next up we've got... We've got. Is that what I would say, is it? Yeah, like, yeah, what it? have we got? I don't talk like that. Well, I, I don't talk, talk like, like this. I would say like this. Next up we've got... Yeah. Um, all right, Jim. Jim is our next guy. Hey, Jim. Hello, Jim. Uh, he says, do you have any tips for sticking to a diet long term? I've tried a few different diets, but I just can't get past the one week point. I go really well for seven days. Then I miss my old foods and I give in any tips or suggestions to help. Okay, first of all, I don't like that word diet. Diet. Yeah. No, no. Because the naughty the way, word. Yeah. Well, the way we do it, it's not a diet. It's a lifestyle plan. So mm, we call eating plan. Yeah, we call mm. our plans eating plans. Mm. Um, I think that's his first mistake. Yeah. Is, is looking at it as a diet. Diet. Yeah. Mm. So my opinion on that would be, you kind of have to be in a mental state that you want to change your lifestyle, mm -hmm. because the way we like to do it is, you know not pressure anyone into doing anything that they don't want to do. If they come to us, we want to ease them into it gently, mm. not go cutting all your calories and your carbs and all that. We like to make our food plans, uh, our eating plans really yummy and enjoyable mm. that mm. you can kind of um, still enjoy those treats. Um, I share a lot of recipes on our Instagram. So, yeah, <sighs> I don't know. That's my opinion on that. Yeah, like the, Kylie's right. I mean, you don't want to go on a diet and say, mm. right, diet starts Monday. Yeah, because you, you hear a lot that. of people try, like, oh, I tried Weight Watchers or I tried, mm. I tried this diet and I tried that diet. There's a certain diet. element of homesickness when you, you like he said, he said in his message, he, he misses his old foods. Mm. So is that, I call it an element of homesickness in that it's like just being ripped out of your home and taken to a new home and you start mm. missing, you know, your old life. And it's, it's the same thing here. It's like, oh, I used to eat this every night and... You know, yeah. you have biscuits in front of the TV or whatever. So as soon as you eliminate that thought process that mm. it's a diet, that's rule number one. Yeah, but also I should, um, I'd like to mention that, you know, if we do have someone that comes to us and they can't give up pizza or something like that, we always come up with an alternative. Mm. So if someone's like hooked on eating pizzas, I've actually had a girl that I've been working with and we came up with a pizza that she can have for lunch every oh, day. Nice. Yep. So... It's a healthy version of a pizza, but she's still able to enjoy okay. her favorite food. So there's number know? two. So number one, get the idea of a diet out of your head, a temporary mm. diet. Rule number two, get a good nu nutritionist. Hint, hint. Yeah, but you're, you're a good nutritionist as well. Thank you, my love. I appreciate <laughs> I'm it. I'm just better at like fitting in what people can't mm. give up, you know? Yeah. like No, that's good. Even that's people who come to us and they say, oh, I can't give up like fizzy soda. Mm. We give kombucha. That's like, right. Yeah. You know, Kylie's they're... got a lot of hacks when it comes to that. If you've got yeah. a good nutritionist like Kylie, they'll have a lot of hacks and they'll be able to guide you. Mm. I would say number three is a rule, if I may throw one in there. Mm. Get past the seven day mark, man. It gets easier, Jim. Yeah. It, trust me, it gets easier. He said he goes up to one week and then he goes back onto his old diet. Mm. But I'd say the first three weeks are miserable most of the time. It is, but it, like I know? say, like it depends on the meal plan or the diet you're following. But you know, any change, I mean, like mm. any change, you know, it's going to be, it, it's, it's, especially someone who doesn't like change, like mm. me, anytime something changes, that first three weeks, I wouldn't judge it in the first three weeks, is my yeah. opinion. I wouldn't judge it because 
if you hang in there for a little bit longer, let's just say if you see someone like Kylie and she gives you a new eating plan, mm. you still may not be happy with it, but yeah. it gets easier. If you just give up after the first seven days, you'll never ever test your body or test your mind mm. to actually see if you can adapt. Yeah, and that's, that's why key. like also we do the check-ins, right? Like mm. we make sure that we're communicating with you on a weekly basis in that first six weeks and mm. just seeing how you're feeling, how you're adjusting to your new eating plan. Is there any changes? Is there any cravings that you're really craving that you can't fight? We help you and get through those little hurdles. Mm. Um, and the best way that I find getting them through the hurdles is giving them an alternative. Mm -hmm. So like I've had um, one girl that just absolutely loves eating fruit. So I've allowed her to have the fruits mm. but earlier in the day. Oh, so you just time um, it differently. Yeah, and okay. portion sizes as well, you know. So it's little tips like that that, you know, we can help assist in that way. Mm. Um, sometimes when you're craving certain foods, it means you're lacking certain, like, minerals and vitamins. Mm -hmm. So that's when that's Roger comes one. into yep. play. That's literally, you read my mind, because that's exactly what I was mm. going to talk about. Next was the last thing, Jim, to take into account is if you're dealing with a good nutritionist, they should be able to de determine whether or not your hunger hormones are playing a role here. Mm. Because, you know, you've got your, your two hormones for, that control your appetite, yes. uh, leptin and ghrelin. Leptin is the hormone that makes you feel full. Ghrelin is the hormone that increases appetite, makes you want to eat more. Now, your body's production of these hormones is one thing. If you're not, not producing enough leptin, mm. you're never going to feel full, so you always want to eat. That's something to take into account. Your, your nutritionist should be looking at that. But then you may produce enough leptin, but the leptin receptors in your body might not be working properly. So therefore the hormone can't bond to the receptor and it can't make you feel full. So mm. that's another really deep analytic issue that I would look at with, with my clients as well. Mm -hmm. And if you are in trouble with one of those hormones, we have supplements, vitamins and minerals that can help with that. Yeah. And you're so, an absolute genius with reading bloods as well. Like, um, yeah, I, I will say that. Yeah, yeah. I so do. Like I love if, I love reading bloods. Yeah. I love it. Uh, bloods as in blood tests. That yeah, is, yeah. And you just sit there staring. <laughs> so at he's a not vial like a blood. vampire. Yeah, and you just sit there staring at that a vial of blood. That sounded like you're like a vampire. You're like I love. I love reading, reading bloods. bloods. <laughs> no, not like that. I love reading blood tests. Yeah, yeah I, um, but I, you're really good at it. Like even when you. you send me to the doctor, <laughs> look at him. He loves compliments. <laughs> No, it's just from her. But when you her. when you send me to the doctor and often like you send me with a list that I need tested and he's like, oh, do you know why he wants that tested? And I'm like, no. You're like, ring Rog. And, and he then, goes, no, and, thanks. No, but then sometimes he will ring you and no, you he explain does. Our it GP's to him. awesome. Well, he actually, um, our GP actually asked me to compile a um, recommendation of bloods for male and female mm. uh, for annual checkups. He mm. asked me, you know, what do you think? And to me, for a GP to be not only humble enough, but smart enough and open-minded enough to take a nutritionist's opinion on board. Yeah, yeah. I was quite honored by that. So yeah. we love him. We That's love our right. GP. So <laughs> sorry to go off on a tangent, yeah. Jim, but ho hopefully those help you out in trying to get past that seven-day point. I think yeah. you can do it, man. I really do. I but think also, you can. like, don't look at it as in as you're a doing diet. a diet and mm. make sure that, you know, you're not following, like, one of those really strict low calorie, mm. low carb, like cutting everything. Absolutely. To me, it sounds like he's really struggling and he's been given like all these different mm -hmm. diets. Yep. So I would like to take on the challenge and write you a meal plan and see if we can break that cycle. Lovely. Mm. Jim, get in touch, mate, at Ventura Nutrition. Uh, on Instagram or Facebook, info at VenturaNutrition.co.nz is our email. Or you can just send it back to the DMs where you sent me the first question. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I was just letting everyone know out there if you want to contact us. But Jim, get in touch with Kylie. She will sort you out. Yeah, I'll sort you out. And we'll get an update from Jim on the next episode. Okay, next question is from Paige from Auckland. Hey, Paige. From Hi, our Paige hometown. From our city. Uh, she says, what does the Ventura family pantry look like right now at this moment well i just did a big food shop so oh, did you all oh, yeah. right perfect timing page mm. she says um i'd imagine there would be plenty of healthy foods but are there any naughty foods that you guys would be embarrassed by <laughs> lol thanks for taking my question you guys rock oh well, just go open the pantry we just did grocery shopping wednesday <laughs> is grocery shopping day in our house so i'm gonna head over to the pantry kylie can navigate from here yeah Let's see, what does Paige want? I, I already know. Like, So she wants to know everything in our pantry. So I'll just go from the top down. But basically we've got 
Okay, so from the top, we've got all your cooking stuff. So it's like all your coconut flour, your unbleached flour. I've got oat flour in there, almond meal. Um, then I've got baking soda, my baking powder. Then I've got all my dark chocolates at the top. Bring my stash. <laughs> this is probably embarrassing because I always get paranoid that the supermarket's going to run out. So I buy quite a lot. So this is hands down my favorite chocolate, lint dark chocolate. So this is my guilty pleasure. Roger doesn't get any because it's all for me, eh, Rog? <laughs> but yeah so that's all on the top shelf and then the next shelf down we've got all our canned goods so that your lentils <clears throat> oh here's his guilty treat yep if you're asking anything we're embarrassed by <laughs> who buys peanut butter in this size here everyone does do they yeah so we've got the crunchy for those nights and then we've got the smooth for those nights. This is my indulgence. This is my weakness, man. Anyone who knows me, mm. she can't stop with the lint chocolate, and I cannot stop with the peanut butter. Yeah. Oh, man. So that's his little guilty pleasure. He would probably sit and eat the whole jar if I let him. But yes, going back to the pantry on the second shelf down, we've got all our canned goods. So, like, yeah, canned lentils, chickpeas. What else is there, Rog? We've got, um, we've got some lentils, we've got black beans. Black beans. We've got oats. We've got rice flake cereal. Rice we've got um, the kids' vegetable chips. Yeah, so the kids get like these vegetable straws. That's all the kids' snacks up there. Um, crackers, they get like crackers. And then we've got the next shelf down, I've got like a few Kmart jaws that are just full of like, you know, your almonds, cashews, all your nuts. Um, we like to eat a variety of nuts and then all your seeds like uh, sesame seeds, yep. pumpkin seeds, chia, chia seeds. seeds. Yep. And then the very bottom, we've got loads of almond and oat milk. Mm -hmm. We love plant-based milks. Mm -hmm. And then our fridge is another story, but you only wanted to know what was in the pantry. pantry yeah, we'll do so we'll leave the fridge we'll for the another fridge time. On another episode, lots of lots of Tonzu products <laughs> in our fridge. We'll get into them yeah. probably on another episode. But Tonzu yeah. are an organic, uh, plant based brand that mm. we just we buy everything they make. They yeah. are awesome. They they have such a good variety of stuff. Like that we've talked about them um, before, but basically Roger and I and the kids are um, mainly plant based. Um, so we eat a lot of the tofu, the te tonzu tem tofu, tempa, tempeh. Oh, tem is it? How do you say it? Tempe? I think it's tempeh tempe. or tempa. I think it's tempeh if you're posh. Yeah, tempeh. But that's quite Pass nice. Some tempe. It's a little bit like um, the texture of it is not it's like a nut. No, it's it's more like a patty, like right. um. It's like a meat substitute. Yeah, like yeah. you slice it up, and I like to cook it in um, a little bit of sesame oil and. Mm. Um, what else do I put? Some I I put some coconut oil in there. We've just recently so. got into the tempeh, yeah, and, and we'll so probably do good. a feature on it on one of the upcoming YouTube episodes yeah. because tempeh is amazing. Tonsu yeah. do a great tempeh, and and if you um slice it like quite finely and fry it up, I like to make like a peanut satay and like put it on top as well. Nice. Um, and then they make the. The sausages, which the sausage. taste amazing. Italian herb sausage. Yeah. Tonzu so, sausages, plant-based sausages. Oh, man, awesome. Is there anything we're embarrassed by, though? Because she said, she said, is there anything you're embarrassed by? I mean, you've got your chocolate, your lint dark mm. chocolate addiction. I've got my peanut butter addiction. No, I is guess. naughty stuff? You've got naughty stuff. What have I got, then? You have, like, the, he gets, like, the Quest cookies and. Quest cookies are nice, yeah. Yeah. They're but, right. Overpriced, but yeah. they're nice. <laughs> He has the cookies for the Quest weekend. Quest protein cookies. I like those um, as a treat on the weekend. No, nah, there was nothing bad in there. No. Nah. We do popcorn. We do sea salt. But that's all right. We do that when we watch a movie. Yeah. When but we do we, our movie We nights. get the sweet, is it Sweet As Is brand? it called Sweet As, mm. is it? Um, we, yeah, we do the, um, yeah, like we don't get that like microwave oh, sort of yellow actually, butter radioactive stuff. Oh, actually, my other stuff. guilty pleasure. Go on. Oh, pineapple. Oi, this, oh. Be right back. My other real like guilty pleasure that I absolutely love is 
if anyone's ever tried these like the kids and I love these these come in um they've got like strawberries they've got oh, I'm trying to think strawberries and there's dried, there's pineapples. dried strawberries dried pineapples Give there's another read. one quick gander. there's nothing to read it's how, how just cool, look yeah ingredients say, says how cool just is this listen right ingredients says just pineapples, nothing else. That's what the ingredient says. Just pineapple, nothing else. Mm. Brilliant. And then there's a story about the farmers on the back. Sustainably and sourced. 10% anyway, of profits shush. go to charity. And so. <laughs> you're acting like you're repping for them. Each yeah, bag contains... as well. Shush. Each bag contains half a bag of pineapple. Brilliant. Can you believe that there's half a bag of pineapple? Fair and dinkum. I must say, like... Fair dinkum, mate. She's gone and bloody opened it live on air. Look. Bloody hell, down on air. Look at that. Mm. Just no shame, no remorse. Just straight into it. So good. Those poor pineapples. Like, honestly. Never saw the light of day. If you have a sweet tooth craving, I mean. From North Sydney as well. Oh, my God. It's so good. Is it? Mm-hmm. Cheers, Nibblish. Kylie loves you. Mm-hmm. So no, good. Getting not, not paid a dollar for this, but lint dark chocolate nibblish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what the old pantry looks like. And she's just, I, I've lost my co-host. Yeah. So we'll leave her there mm -hmm. with her little bag of so-and-sos. And, -sos. and uh, I think we shall, well, how many questions have we done? Three. I think that's uh, that makes up for episode 34. Cool, We've I get to pick info it out. On greens powder. We've got some info on greens powder. We've got some eating lifestyle eating advice. Mm -hmm. And we've got to watch Kylie eat some Australian pineapples. So cheers. These are so good though. Is it? Mm. Try one. No, thank you. <laughs> Actually, no, don't because I don't want you being addicted. Yeah, but I'm not, in, I'm not into pineapples. Mm. I'm not into this. Bring me out one of them jars of peanut butter. Forget it. Mm. Go hammer. Forget it. All right, everyone. Kylie's enjoying her pineapple. That's her for the night. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. If you guys are enjoying these uh, weekly videos, mm -hmm. please uh, go ahead and like this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure you enable your notifications bell so you get notified every Wednesday when we drop a new episode. Um, if you'd like to send any questions in for the show, at Ventura Nutrition is our DM on Facebook and Instagram. You can email us directly, any, any questions to info at VenturaNutrition.co.nz or you can fill out the contact form on our website, www.VenturaNutrition.co.nz. I say that every week, mouth gets dry, but I got through it. Mm. And she just sits there. Mm, mm, mm. No, nah, I actually was like, what is it, mimicking you? Oh, were you? Mm. I was like. I'm going to have to watch that back. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us, everyone. We will see you guys next week for episode... Oi! We are 35 years old, mm -hmm. and next week is episode 35. No? Anyway. Dude, thank you guys so much for joining us for episode see 34. Ya. We will and catch you. Cheers. Cut. Yeah. <laughs> Larry Bird is the man. Look at that. Arterial fibrosis, anyway, so heart disease. The guy played throughout his career, made an awesome career for himself, despite heart disease. He's not 33. He's, oh my gosh. He, he's jersey number 33. He's 65. <laughs> oh my gosh. Right. That sums it up right there. I thought there. he said it was his birthday. <laughs>